Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about merging spirituality and psychology so that you can manifest your relationship faster. And this week is my Neville Goddard whistle stop tour of what Neville Goddard's teachings are about and the main techniques that people use and just my take on it really and as again this is all from my personal perspective if some of it lands with you great you can go ahead and use that but I really wanted to sort of share my experience of this having studied Neville for such a long time so yesterday's video was an overview of what Neville's teachings actually are I did recommend this because it has got all the main Neville books in it and when you read it for yourself it might land a bit better. Personally, I found it difficult just going off videos and going off um, going off chats in Reddit or, or whatever. And it wasn't until I really read it and understood the teachings and really embodied the teachings that things started to work for me. In today's video, I'm going to cover sats uh, because that is one of the main parts of Neville's teaching, state akin to sleep, where you basically go to sleep repeating the same scene over and over and over again before you go to sleep. And I am also going to debunk a few myths about sats as well, because a lot of people I speak to feel like they've got to do sats perfectly and they panic when they can't do the scene properly or they panic that it doesn't feel real enough, that it wasn't clear enough. And I don't want people to panic over this because your subconscious mind knows what you want. And I want you to remember that. You're not trying to convince somebody else. You're trying to convince you. And if you know what you mean, your subconscious mind will know what you mean. So I don't want people to panic about that. But the basis of the Sats teaching is that you pick one scene, you make it as real as you can, feel it real, feel like it's done, and keep repeating that scene and going to sleep in the feeling. And I did this quite a lot, particularly in my early days of manifesting when I was really, really desperate for a text message off my SP. I would go to sleep listening to this certain meditation and I would repeat that scene over and over and over again. And eventually it did work. And eventually I did get the message and eventually we did get back together, but I could never keep it. And I'm going to go into this later on in the video. So state akin to sleep is, is you imagining that imaginal scene, feeling the feeling and taking that feeling with you along your day. So what that means is at different points in the day, you are tapping into that feeling of it's already done. So that is as simple as it needs to be. So a few things that I hear of people that are, are concerned about whether they're doing this right is that does it need to be in first person? In my experience, no. It doesn't make it manifest for somebody else. Somebody else isn't going to run away with your desire. That's not going to happen. So don't panic if it's not in first person. Don't panic about the clarity of the image as well. It doesn't matter. I've had really vague scenes that have manifested. Um, but saying that, a really good tip is to look at your hands. So a really good tip is in sats is to see your own hand. And what that does is it kind of lands you in it, but you don't need to do that. It doesn't need to be super clear. Intrusive thoughts. So a lot of people say, well, I'm trying to do sats, but I've got all these intrusive thoughts coming in. It's okay. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Don't try and suppress the thoughts. Let them be there. And just think to yourself, even though I have these fearful thoughts or these undesirable thoughts, I'm going to imagine this anyway and go for it. And the more you do it, the less intrusive thoughts you will have, because by doing sats and by feeling it, you are going to start naturally believing that this is a possibility for you. Therefore, you will have less interruption when you're doing it. Do you need to fall asleep in sats? No. You don't even need to do it before you go to bed if you don't want to. I rarely do sats before bed. In fact, I don't think I've done sats for years before bed, unless I felt like it. It's really, really important when you're on this journey that nothing's really forced. I mean, Neville does say that, you know, you can't outwill your subconscious mind. You can't force it to believe something. You are suggesting something to it. It's much more subtle. It's much more gentle. So if you've got a routine, for example, I must do sats before sleep and it's just not working, that's okay. Do it later. Do it in the morning if you want to. It doesn't matter what time of day you do this, but what it is is the intention behind it. And if you're having a really, really crappy day 
and you can't be bothered to do sats let that be okay because what we don't want to happen is that we get into a habit of pasting over how we feel by trying to imagine over something we don't want to get into the habit of suppressing our feelings those feelings aren't going to go anywhere they're going to come up eventually again it is going to manifest on the outside if you don't deal with it now so don't worry if you're just not feeling like it today just because you miss a day doesn't mean that the desire is not going to happen it doesn't mean that it's doesn't mean that you failed at it it doesn't mean that your subconscious mind has forgotten what you want because you've missed that one day a lot of people seem to get confused as well as of, of how to actually get into sats and whether they've done it right and really sats it's just a relaxed state it's it's nothing special you're not looking for this you know this feeling to overcome you you're not looking for this innate presence you are looking for just a relaxed state a relaxed state where your mind can slow down you get into your body and you just imagine intend to okay i'm going to i'm going to imagine this because this is the direction i want my life to go in and the final thing to remember is that it is not the technique that's going to give you what you want and I used to really buy into the techniques. I used to buy into this is what's going to make this work. But actually it isn't. The techniques are there to encourage you to get into a certain state of being. It's there to help you believe that you are a certain version of yourself that you want to be. It's not the techniques that manifest. It's you that manifests. It's your belief that manifests so let's say for example manifesting a text message like i was i've got plenty of experience manifesting text messages and all you are doing when you are doing sats is you are becoming the person who already has it you are not it's not your sat session that's manifested anything it's your belief that you have it that manifests it's you becoming the person that has it that manifests so that's why particularly in my coaching program, I do tend to sort of veer away from techniques because it isn't the techniques that manifest, it's your state of being that's manifesting. And I also want to encourage people to let go of this belief that they need to be perfect at this. You absolutely do not need to be perfect at this. You don't. It doesn't need to be the perfect visualisation. It doesn't need to be the perfect feeling. It doesn't need to be a perfect sat session. You, it doesn't need to be perfection is not a condition on this as long as you are doing your best at it that is enough that is absolutely enough for you to manifest what you want but if you make the goal being the person that has it rather than doing this perfect manifestation routine make the goal of I'm going to become that person, I'm going to be that person and when I am that person this is what I believe and I intend to believe these things and shift gradually into that state. That is the goal here, the goal is changing you and that is what the next video in this series is going to be about so make sure you tune into that but as usual any comments or any questions pop them down below and I will do my best to answer them and I will see you in the next video.